Hey guys, Brian here. Now I learned my lesson after shooting that 22 minute Peanuts Christmas stuff in the Manchild Cave vid. It's just, when you have a room that's covered with a certain item, you need to divide the vids in half. Now this is vid, this is going to be a two part vid all about the vintage Christmas stuff I have here in the Manchild Cave. I'm going to just do two walls and then do the other two walls. This is part one. So I'm just going to go around starting in this corner and show all the vintage Christmas stuff. That's an old dupe stocking one of my friends sent me a few years back. I have a huge thing for candles and lanterns and they know that so that was really sweet. And that's uh, Brad, old Bradford um, metal Christmas cookie tray. I love that old style. And let's see. That goes back. I think that's from the late 50s. I think it's from the 50s or the early 60s. It's an old um, canopy tray. I've seen it. There's a ton of different trays for all seasons and occasions made by this company with the classic little twine handles. But love those old vintage graphics. Let's see. Let's step up here. Oh, that's an old tea tr uh, vacuum form celluloid tea tropper tea tree topper angel with aluminum foil wings. It's seen better days. I keep it all year long because if I think if I packed it away, it would just crumble to dust. So it just kind of stays in the room. Uh, let's see vintage stuff. Well, oh, there's some old ceramic bell Christmas bells from the 60s. And some old, some uh, 70s wrapping Christmas paper from my childhood. And there's a super old, uh, from the 50s or even 40s, Christmas wrapping paper. Old porcelain bells. <clears throat> Let's see. Up here. That's, uh, that's it. Old, I think it was like a Parmesan cheese shaker or something. It's old in the middle. It's got holes in the top. It was some kind of shaker, but I think it's from the early 70s or mid 70s. And that was my grandma's. That's a little Christmas pixie porcelain. It's a, either late 60s, early 70s partridge from the pear tree. A little wooden stand thing that you put stuff in. Let's see. There's some old 70s gift tags. And some old 60s and 70s. Another Partridge in the Pear Tree card. And these are some of my most prized Christmas possessions. These are all old vintage candle themed Christmas cards. I love these things. Some of these are from my family, old family stuff, and some of these are from uh, gifts from Flickr friends and other people. And this old, these classic. Let's see what this classic old plastic kitschy ornaments. The nineteen seventy seven. Christmas ornament. Another one of those. Jewel. I think they were Jewel Bright is the company that makes those. There's another one. Let's see. And this is some old Santa clip-ons. And this old bugle. Some more kitschy plastic decorations. A little plastic holly leaf Santa ornament. Let's see. Vintage, vintage, vintage. And I, this wreath, uh, this was an old wreath from the 70s with a horrible electronic bell. It was just plain and I added a bunch of flower picks and old ornaments to it 
some of these are newer, but a lot of these old picks go back to the 60s. Like that bird. That's an old bird on a pine cone dove. And some more. Now I have tons of vintage Christmas cards. I put them up in themes. Like these are all bell bell themed Christmas cards. And that's a fabulous kitschy uh, bamboo or plastic bamboo card holder with a little felt, a plastic headed felt, a felt elf on it. <laughs> and there's uh, vintage cards with a mailbox, Christmas mailbox name. And this is old Santa wrapping paper from the 50s. I love that old style. I was born three decades too late. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Oh, some wonderful old die cuts. It's a Victorian carolers die cut. And a 3D-ish foil tree gift big gift glue on topper and there's an old Victorian lamp die cut with holly berries and a chickadee there's some great old candle candle candles like actual candle candles <laughs> some more vintage cards yeah that's a um, classic 50s candelier that hung in your windows. I'm sure people around my age of 47 or so grew up with these in their parents' homes. Let's see. Oh, that's an old crochet Christmas door cover my mom made in the 70s. Let's see what up here is vintage. That's an old Avon candles. Oh gosh, there's so much vintage stuff on the washstand. Some old, an old Santa. These are great old picks, like cake top cake picks. They call them picks. You stick them in cakes. Some old cupcake picks, lanterns. I have a few of those in different colors. And those are old school pipe cleaners from the 50s. The big fuzzy old school ones. They don't make pipe cleaners like they used to. There's another huge uh, cake topper. And this is a Holt Howard. Or Howard Holt Howard Howard Holt. Jeez, I can't remember which way it goes. Uh, he, that was an old Santa design that he used back in the 50s. Well, in the 80s, Dairy Queen used his Santa for um, the like tall glasses and tumblers. Whoops, speaking of tumblers, just knocking stuff over. Some old uh, vintage reindeer gift tag ties. Old elf guy. That's a 60's candy Santa boot that came with candy. Let's see. Oh, gee, there's so much stuff on this little shelf here. Um, some all giant. Th this isn't the C7. This is, I don't know what this is, but these are huge old bulbs from that old school. I don't even, that was probably for outside. They were huge. I can imagine the light sockets those go in. Some old vintage flower picks. So I think some of these go back to the 50s. Jupe. Another old vintage holly leaf candle holder. Let's see. Well, 
other stuff over here is vintage. I'll use some old um, Christmas ornaments. Yeah. From the 60s. Mixed in with the peanuts ones. <laughs> Santa die cut, big head die cut, more. Those are Victorian caroler themed cards, and those are all vintage cards. Some of those go, I think, go back to the, even the 40s. And that was from the early 80s, is 7 Up had these giveaway Santa advent calendar not advent calendars but you took it home I maybe it was advent I'm not sure but uh, you s glued cotton balls on his beard and that was from like 1983 7up gave you those away in stores when like you bought a 12 pack of 7up or something and there's a vintage Santa that uh, he's got a hole in the back and he hold, there's different um, variations of those. Like one of them has him holding a little plastic tree, and one of them has him holding a light bulb. And there's a hole in the back that you run a light through. Uh, and that's a uh, 1950s or early 60s girly candle. G U R L E Y. They were huge uh, candle makers back in the day. <coughs> and that is. I got that when I was a kid in the 70s. It's a the classic lightsabers, life savers, not lightsabers, um, candy roll book. Let's see here. Open this up. I'm sure any kid from the 70s and 80s remembers these. And you got all the candy. And that is the original lifesavers from the 70s still in there. Can you believe it? I keep that inside so it doesn't melt in the heat. Let's see. What vintage stuff am I missing over here? Oh, here's a old Merry Christmas button. Probably from the early 80s. Or maybe in late 70s. Let's see. Um, and I, I love these. These vintage mini blow molds. These candles that say Noel on them. Love those. I was coveting those for years, and then one year my good friend Mary sent me those. I almost fainted. So awesome. I love the old blow molds. Oh, and here's. My, my mom made this ceramic Santa boot in the 70s. Everybody who grew up in the 70s and early 80s had a ceramic Santa boot. With some old. Uh, Christmas picks. Let's see. Okay, what am I missing over here? That's vintage. I hate to hate when I film crap and I finish and I see something I missed. There's always that elusive something. Oh, here's more vintage cards. These are all ones with a f Christmas fireplace theme and that is some um, early 80's or late 70's McDonald's wrapping paper <laughs> it's kind of hard to see in the dark over here you know crazy <laughs> yeah it's definitely early 80's because there's Birdie and she didn't come along until breakfast came along in like 83 or so I love that old school hamburger and fry guy. And there's some Hallmark cookie presses. I'm sorry for the light in here. There's just nothing I can do about it. This is the worst house to film anything in, I swear to God. And some old... I show those in my Disney vid. And that is another one of my prized Christmas possessions. It's my old uh, organ Christmas carol book from the 70s. And let's see. Here's another cake 
topper. Okay, I think that's it for all the vintage stuff. Let me do a quick scan around. I always miss something. And there's another, some old ornaments. Those go back to my grandmother's day. Old star cookie cutters. <laughs> oh, this old Victorian guy. I never knew, someone sent that to me. It's a, it's a Victorian guy on a green stick. And I just stick him here in this this glass bottle. I have no idea. I can never find anyone to tell me what that was for. Oh, and now this is an original elf sitter. I, you know, the thing that elf on the shelf ripped off, this is the original, one of the original ones. Uh, let's see. What a little vintage thing. Oh, and a lot of these little itty bitty things are vintage too. Some are newer. But a lot, some of these go back to the 60s. Just a bunch of little tiny decorations that I put on this little shelf here. Do, do, do. Oh, there's a great old 60s plastic ornament. Just a bunch of little itty bitty stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Okay, I guess that's it for the vintage stuff in this side. What am I missing? Oh, there's an old, there's an old candle, probably from the 60s or early 70s. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Look for part two of Vintage Christmas Goodness coming soon.